Okay, so the question today is how we can create a property control within Spotify, something that the user can change in value, for example, and then we can actually use that value for something else, some additional calculations or something. So in this specific case, just load your data table, and we're going to start from zero, so I'm just going to start a new page here, and in the new page I'm going to add a text area. In that text area, as soon as I do right click of the mouse, I can edit and see the menu that I have available. In this specific case, we are focusing on the property control options, and you can see that you have multiple options there to select. We're going to create a slider. Our slider is going to have a name. The name is going to be the smoothing for this specific example. I'm going to use that later on for some other exercise. And I'm going to define that the data type is going to be a real for this specific case. And I'm just going to give it a starting point as a value. So it's going to be, for example, 0 0.05. Click OK. Now, because we want to be able to change that number, it's going to be a range, it's going to be a slider, so I'm going to select a numerical range that I can actually change and edit to be whatever I need it to be. In this specific case, it's going to be a variable that is going to go from 0 0.1 to 1. Now, notice this error message here. It is because this number is equal to this number. For this error to go away, just make this number lower than this number. In this case, for example, 0 0.05, so it is consistent with your minimum and your maximum numbers from the slider. Okay, so now you click OK, save the text area, and we can see the property now. And it's going to change between 0 0.1 and 1 with intervals of 0 0.05 as we just decided it to be. Now, if you want to take a look of this property, you can go to the user interface when you can see the smoothing property here as a real with a value of 0 0.7, which is the one that we just um, adjust on the slider option. If you need to add this on any expression or use it in any of the data functions or so on, just do right click and insert as a value and you will be able to use it in whatever you need to use. Okay? So that is how you insert a property control in a text area in this specific example.